Hello. This is your daily reminder from me to read your Bible every day. I was listening to uh, Francis Chan. Haven't listened to him in a long time. And I uh, just listened to him a little bit last night. And he was saying how his life message really has been about the fear of God. He's been, he said, I've been preaching that for 30 years or something. And I was thinking, if I had a life message, I think it would be, read your Bible, read your Bible. And so I know I've said it a lot, but I'm just going to keep saying it because I think it is so important. When I was about um, 13 years old, I think maybe, I went to a church in Portland, Oregon called Maranatha. Uh, it was a predominant, not maybe not predominantly black, but it had a black pastor and it was just beautiful because it was black and white. And, um, but there was a, it was during the time when a lot of hippies were coming to know Jesus. And as I said, I was about 13. I was kind of a wannabe hippie because I thought they were so cool, but I was a little bit too young <laughs> to be there. But anyway, I can vividly remember these just this church full of long beards and hippie looking people but with just joy on their faces joy that they'd been uh, set free from drugs joy worshiping Jesus it just stands out in my mind that was a beautiful uh, time in my life but anyway I went forward uh, to give my life to Jesus and I had this girl that counseled me at the altar and her name was Sonia. And she kind of looked like Janis Joplin. She had the long frizzy hair and she too was one of those that had been on drugs, had a life and was set free. But I'll never forget what she told me. She said, you need to read your Bible and you need to pray every day. And she said, just as we need bread and water to live physically, so we need the word of God and prayer to survive spiritually. And so she said, look at the Bible like bread. You, you Just like you have to eat every day to survive, to live, you need to eat the word of God, chew on the word of God, study the word of God, read the word of God every day to survive spiritually. And you need to pray every day. And that stayed with me. It has stayed with me my whole life. And so I just wanted to do another encouragement. And I've heard so many people, especially men, more, I think, than women say, oh, I read the Bible. I've read it once. I know what it says. But that's there's a misunderstanding. The Bible isn't just a book. It's not like, well, you've read a book. Okay. The Bible is the word of God. It truly is. It's the, it's the very words, the very essence of God. It's God's personality. It's how we get to know God. And I can guarantee you, um, I, I can't, I don't know how many times I've read it, but I've been reading it every day, pretty much my whole life. So I've read through it. Somebody just asked me this. How many times have you read through? I don't know. 30, 40 times. I really don't know. My guess would be 30 times I've read it through. But anyway, I would just like to challenge you today to just read Isaiah chapter 49. Just read that. See if you can't find Jesus, Messiah, all through that. It's just brilliant. I even see, I found a verse that mentions the Holy Spirit, the three in one. Um, and I just wanted to say this too. I remember the first time I read Isaiah. And I remember thinking that for the most part, it was really boring, but I would be reading and reading and all of a sudden I'd come across a jewel. I'd come across this gem. And I remember liking Isaiah just for that reason. But now, today, after reading it so many times, it's beyond me how I ever found it boring because now I've gone deeper. I've gone stronger. And every... I just find every chapter great, not boring, every bit of it. It's the most fabulous book to me because it's so prophetic. It carries so much of who God is. And I also wanted to say, I remember, you know, when I was in my 30s or whatever, 
we didn't have the internet. We didn't have um, such ease of resources. And in only pastors, they had the whole commentary set in their pastor studies. And it was pretty expensive back then to buy commentaries. I remember buying one for just a few books of the Bible or whatever. Now it's so easy. So if you're reading the Bible and you just stumble upon a verse, you don't understand it, get, go on the internet. I type in, I have, I used to type in, I love Chuck Smith, the former Chuck Smith from Calvary Chapel. I used to just type in Chuck Smith commentary and read his. It helped me a lot. Now I'm doing um, one, it's by David Guzik, um, and it's called Enduring Word. And just type in Enduring Word commentary, every book of the Bible, every verse. It's so easy. I mean, it takes seconds to get to it. So um, I'd say in the past five years, I've been using more commentary than ever in my life um, because I just used to love to read it and just let the Holy Spirit speak to me, which he did. And now I guess I'm at a time where I'm just going deeper and deeper, but it never gets boring. It never gets old. Um, it's God's speak. I just feel like as I'm reading, I feel like I'm visiting with Jesus. I'm visiting with the Father. I'm in heaven. I'm taken back in time, forward in time. It's just fabulous. And I know you have time to read the Bible. We all have time because I know how much time we all spend on social media. So all we have to do is get rid of that and uh, take time to read the Bible. So that's just the word I wanted to give today. Read your Bible. Absorb it. Take your time. Read it slowly. Try to grasp the meanings and connect with Jesus, our Lord, our God, while you're reading. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to go to Kim's Musings on YouTube. And um, yeah, God bless you all.